Okay, hello. This time, we're going to discuss about systems of linear inequalities. Our goal here is to solve systems of linear inequalities. We will have a short review. If we're using greater than or less than, you're going to use a dashed line or a broken line. If you're going to use greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, you're going to draw a solid line. If the inequality is greater than or greater than or equal to, the shaded region will be above the line or it goes up or to the right of the line. If the inequality symbols are less than or less than or equal to, and then the shaded region will be below the line or it goes down or to the left of the line. Okay, what is a system of linear inequalities? This is made up of two or more linear inequalities. And the solution of a system of linear inequalities is an ordered pair that makes all the inequalities in the system true. The common region is the illustrative representation of the solution of the given system of linear inequalities. Okay? Let us consider some examples. We have here the first one. What is the graph of the system y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 5 and negative 3x plus y is less than or equal to negative 4? So we're going to graph the first inequality. Okay? Always remember that you're going to write this in the form y equals mx plus b in order for you to know your slope and your y-intercept. So we're going to change the sign of inequality. You now have y equals negative x plus 5. Your slope is negative 1 and your b is 5. Your slope is negative, therefore it falls to the left. And that is 1 meaning 1 up and then 1 run to the left. We're now going to plot it. Always bear in mind that your y-intercept is always along the y-axis. So we have here, your b is 5. It is here. Then after that, you're going to move up 1 and then run 1 to the left. Move up 1 and then run 1 to the left. Okay? Our inequality symbol is greater than or equal to. Therefore, we're going to use a solid line. And since that is greater than or equal to, the shaded region will be above the line. Next, we're going to grab the second inequality. We have negative 3x plus y is less than or equal to negative 4. We're going to change the inequality symbol. We have now negative 3x plus y equals negative 4. The opposite of negative 3x is positive 3x. So on both sides, negative 3x plus 3x, that will now be 0. So bring down y equals 3x minus 4. Your slope is 3 and your y-intercept is negative 4. So where is your y-intercept? It is here. Your slope is positive, meaning it rises to the right. Your slope is 3. Therefore, the denominator is 1, meaning you're going to move up 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1 run to the right. 1, 2, 3, and 1 to the right. Since our inequality symbol is less than or equal to, therefore, we're going to use a solid line. And that is less than or equal to, meaning the shaded region will be below the line. Okay, take a look at this darker portion of the graph. What does this mean? This means that this is the common region, meaning all the points that are found on this portion of the graph represent the solution of the given system. To prove, let us try one point. Is the point 4, 3 a solution of the system? Where is that 4, 3? 4, 3. It is here. So, if you can see, 4, 3 is found on the common region. 
Okay, how are we going to justify our answer? Okay, we're going to copy the first inequality. Y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 5. You're just going to plug in your x and your y value. 3, as your y is greater than or equal to negative, your x is 4 plus 5. So 3 is greater than or equal to negative 4 plus 5 is equal to 1. Is 3 greater than 1? Yes or no? Yes. Therefore, 4, 3 is a solution of the given system. Or the inequality, I should say. Next. Negative 3x plus y is less than or equal to negative 4. We're going to plug in the value of x. Negative 3, the value of x is 4, plus your y is 3. So you have there. Negative 3 times 4, that is negative 12, plus 3 is less than or equal to negative 4. Negative 12 plus 3, that is negative 9, is less than or equal to negative 4. Is that true? Yes, meaning to say 4, 3 is a solution of the second inequality. It further says that 4, 3 is the solution of the given system. This really justifies that all the points that are found on this common region is the solution of the given system. Okay, next we have here. What is the graph of the system y is less than 2x minus 3 and 2x plus y is greater than 2? Okay? So again, we're going to change the sign of inequality. y is equal to 2x minus 3. Your slope is 2 and your y-intercept is negative 3. Your slope is positive, therefore it rises to the right. 2 over your denominator is 1. Okay? So let us now locate your y-intercept. It is here, negative 3. From here, based from your slope, you're going to move 2 up and 1 run to the right. 2 up, 1 run to the right. Your sign of inequality is less than. Therefore, we're going to use a dashed line. Since that is less than, the shaded region is below the line. Okay? The second inequality, 2x plus y, is greater than 2. Change the sign of inequality. You now have 2x plus y equals 2. Always remember that you need to write that in the form y equals mx plus b. Okay, so the opposite of 2x, that is negative 2x. So negative 2x on both sides. 2x plus negative 2x, that will now be 0. So you now have y is equal to negative 2x plus 2. Your slope is negative 2 and your b is 2. Since it is negative, the line falls to the left. 2 and the denominator is 1. 2 rise and 1 run to the left. We're now going to locate your y-intercept. Always remember your y-intercept is along the y-axis. It is here, positive 2. So you're going to move up 2, 1 run, move up 2, 1 run. Your sign of inequality is greater than, therefore we're going to use a broken line. Since it is greater than, the shaded region will be above the line. Okay? This is the darker portion of the graph. This represents your common region, meaning this is the solution of the given systems of linear inequalities. Okay, the third one we have here. Graph the solution set of the system of linear inequalities 2x minus 3y is greater than or equal to 12. And negative 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6. So we're going to change the sign of inequality. The opposite of 2x, that is negative 2x on both sides. So 2x plus negative 2x, that will now be 0. So negative 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 12. 
dividing each term by 3 because we have there three, negative 3, I should say, the coefficient of y. So negative 3 divided by negative 3, that is 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 3, that is positive 2 thirds. And then 12 divided by negative 3, that is negative 4. So your slope is 2 thirds and your y-intercept is negative 4. Your slope is positive, so it is the line rises to the right. So negative 4, it is here. So you're going to move up 2. 1, 2, and then run 3 to the right. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, then 1, 2, 3. Okay? So since your sign of inequality is greater than or equal to, you're going to use a solid line. Okay, this time we're going to decide where is the shaded region. Is it above or below? Okay, so taking a look at that, that must be above. Now, let us consider again your inequality. 2x minus 3y is greater than or equal to 12. Following the same procedure, get the opposite of 2x, that is negative 2x, negative 2x. 2x minus 2x, that will be 0. So you now have negative 3y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 12. Dividing each term by negative 3. Okay? So you now have y. Then this will be 2 third and this will be negative 4. Take a look at the sign of inequality. It becomes ne uh, less than or equal to. Okay, so instead of greater than or equal to, it becomes less than or equal to. Why? Because we divide each side of the equation or both side of the inequality, I should say, by a negative number. If we are dividing the inequality by a negative number, we're going to change the sign of inequality. So, from greater than or equal to, it will now be less than or equal to. That's why the shaded region will be below the line. Can you follow? Next, we now have negative 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6. Following the same procedure, we now have negative 2x plus 3y equals 6. The opposite of negative 2x, that is positive 2x on both sides. Negative 2x plus 2x, that will now be 0. So you now have 3y is equal to 2x plus 6. Dividing each term by 3, the coefficient of y. So you now have y, because 3 divided by 3, that is 1. 2 divided by 3, that is 2 thirds. And 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So you now have m is equal to 2 thirds. And B is equal to 2. Your y-intercept is here. Your M is 2 third. That is positive. So you're going to move up 2 and run 3 to the right. 2, 3. Okay? The sign of inequality is greater than or equal to. Therefore, we're going to use a solid line. And since that is greater than or equal to, the shaded portion is above the line. Okay, take a look at this one. Does the two shaded region intersect? No. So, in this case, there's no common region, meaning there's no common solution of the given systems of linear inequalities. Okay?